Dear friends in Christ, I invite you to reflect with me on sustaining friendship with Jesus, the Good Shepherd. In John's Gospel, chapter 15, verse 1, Jesus said, you are my friends if you do what I command you. And this statement of Jesus regarding referring to us as his friends is very important for us to understand that there is the need for us to sustain our friendship with Jesus, the Good Shepherd. During Easter time, the church presents us with different images for our reflection. And today, the image or the images that are presented to us are the images of shepherd and sheep. Jesus is presented to us as the Good Shepherd. As the first reading tells us, God raised Jesus from the dead and made him Lord and God. And as Lord and God, Jesus is the Good Shepherd. The title, Pastor really means shepherd. And this is because a pastor or one who is referred to as a pastor is someone who represents Jesus as the good shepherd. And he leads the sheep to green pastures. As Psalm 23 tells us, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. And so when we refer to Father Brian, for instance, as pastor, it is because Father Brian represents Jesus Christ. And the truth is that Father Brian is a good man. And as a good man, he represents the imagery of Jesus as the Good Shepherd. The image of Jesus as the Good Shepherd can also be understood from the care that dad and mom gives to us at home. The care that we receive from dad and mom is a reflection of the fact that they represent Jesus in our lives as the Good Shepherd. Today, we are celebrating with seven of our children, and the number is a perfect number because it represents the seven gifts of the Holy Spirit, wisdom, understanding, counsel, fortitude, knowledge, piety, and the fear of the Lord. You can see me counting my fingers. That was how I counted it during catechism classes. <laughs> and I had to do that in order to count them in that order. Today, we celebrate the sacrament of the Eucharist. And the Eucharist is the body and blood of Jesus Christ. Whenever we come to Holy Mass, as we have gathered, we celebrate the source and summit of our worship as Christians. And the wine and the bread that is presented to us on the altar is transformed when the priests say the words of Jesus Christ. And I want to ask 
If anyone would answer, you can raise up your hand and answer. What does the bread and wine change to during Mass? If you know, raise up your hand and I will call you to respond. Okay, we have a hand up here. Would you stand to say it? Clap for her, please. Thank you. She said, the body and blood of Jesus. And that is actually what happens when the words of consecration are said on the bread and wine. And so for me, I consider that the seven of you know what you are about to receive. You are about to receive the body and blood of Jesus together with his soul and divinity under the appearance of bread and wine. In communicating with Jesus through the body of Christ, you are able to sustain your relationship with Jesus. Each time you come to Mass and you receive the body of Christ, you are sustaining your relationship with Jesus. And the basic time that we are required to do this is attending a weekend Mass. And when we do that, we are able to nourish our souls and follow in the footsteps of Jesus Christ in whatever he tells us in the word of God. And in keeping to his command, we are able to sustain our friendship with him. We pray that as the seven of you receive your first communion today, that the Lord will give you the grace to nourish your friendship with Jesus, who is the Good Shepherd. And in following him, he will continue to lead you to greener pastures. Through Christ our Lord. Peace be with you all.